Ah, don't you love being a well-meaning and useful member to society? Well, I don't. I want to commit crimes. Welcome to How Many Crimes Can We Commit in Stardew Valley? Now, I do want to say, I'm not going to count things like, oh, you can hit them with the hammer, because, like, you can't really. Nothing happens, so I'm not going to count that. With that said, let's start out with the basics. Assault and Battery. By extension... Assault with a deadly weapon, because I'd call a bomb pretty deadly. I'm gonna go for a triple here. Uh, first of all, open container violation, having open alcohol just in public, which is to prevent this next crime. Public intoxication. I'm a menace to society. <laughs> oh, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? We have a three for here. Supplying alcohol to minors. Uh, this one's a pretty easy one, in my opinion. Littering. Uh, I kind of want to go for a public indecency, but I don't know. Like, this is this is enough, right? Like, I got underwear. I got a shirt. I've got shoes. Hold on. Oh, they're default. I can't even take off the shoes. I don't know. I don't think this one can count. Here's one that you may have had to deal with. Uh, make a little, uh, slow. Yeah. Uh-huh. There we go. Encroachment. Got another, uh, oh baby, a triple here. Uh, just, uh, womp. Oh, and I got something from it too. Cool, so that's all three crimes. Trespassing, invasion of privacy, and theft. Here's a little fun fact for you. If the trash is on someone's property, yeah, it's a crime. But if it's on the curb, ready to be taken out, it is considered abandoned property and is free to be stolen. Well, I don't want to get too, like, meta with, like, intentions, because, like, you could go through all sorts of, like, conspiracy to murder, conspiracy to regicide, w really whatever you want. But, uh, stalking? I'll just chill here and watch Evelyn for as long as I want. Learn her entire schedule. In fact, that's what really every Staryu player does. They learn everyone's schedule, where they can be found at any given moment. And on Assault, that's pretty easy to turn into animal abuse. Yeah, it actually does hit your pet, little did you know. It doesn't lose any friendship with you, by the way, it just gives the disappointed <laughs> little sprite there. All right, we're gonna get a little fun with this one. As we all know, the red mushroom is one of the few items in the game that reduces your energy. It doesn't just do that though. The red mushroom is based off of a real life red mushroom called the fly agaric. Sorry to any botanists who know that I just said that wrong, but this is a poisonous item. If you eat it, it's not going to be good. We're just going to have everyone in town eat this poisonous mushroom. Now, problem is, as much as I want to call this attempted mass murder, the fly agaric is not known to be overly deadly unless you eat just a ton of it. But upon further research, turns out there's a crime specifically for poisoning the town's food supply. So this is that. Alrighty, the wizard asked us to go get some magic ink from the witch. However, she doesn't really want us in here. So first, let's do some quick bribery with the guard. Enter a house that she didn't want anyone in, breaking and entering, and steal the magic ink. Now, yes, I know that the wizard claims that that's his magic ink, but there's no real way to know the truth. And if you take something that someone is in possession of that was stolen previously, is that stealing again? It prob it's probably stealing again if you go into their house to get it. Impersonation of a government official. Hey, Marnie. Hello. According to the International Union of the Conservation of Nature, there are over 200 bat species that are endangered. It is illegal to kill endangered animals, so that's poaching. I'm just kind of taking the risk that one of those endangered bats is the kind that Stardew Valley's bats are based off of. If you want a more solid definition of an endangered animal, blobfish are an endangered animal. Delicious, I think I'll have another. Mmm, crime. Child abuse. 
Now, as you may well know, if you get a divorce, your spouse is not happy with you. I'll be fine on my own. They remember it. Uh, you max out at eight hearts are allowed. I don't know why it kept it at nine there. Thanks for the memories. Uh, you cannot marry them again. That is like locked out. They remember what you did to them. You're done. However, you can wipe their memory just like you've never met. I'd call that a pretty classic case of brainwashing. Now, for this last one, I wanted it to be a really fun one. I did a lot of research for this. I tried so hard to find what the theoretical context of transforming a human being into something else, what crime that would be. I could not find any answers from someone who knows better than I. So, I'm gonna call it mutilation. You are removing many body parts from a human being, and in fact replacing them with many others, as well as doing a lobotomy of sorts because you are removing a lot of brain there. So yeah, I'm gonna call it mutilation. Now, of course, I am no legal expert. I went off of what I thought would be correct off of my interpretation. There's probably a ton more. That's like all, that was a few days of hard thinking for me to figure all those out. So if you know any more crimes I could commit, please let me know. Hey, uh, thank you for sticking with me to the end here. There's something that I want to talk about real quick, not because I was paid to, but because they asked very nicely. Here's a Kickstarter for a game going on called The Witch of Fern Island. It's a cozy farming game, something you might be familiar with, but it has a bunch of witchy elements to it. You can perform magic, make potions, you can enchant crops to be magical crops. The entire concept is very interesting to me, and currently they have a Kickstarter going on. They are about two-thirds of the way there currently at the time of recording this, and they have 20 days left to go, so just go check it out. See if it's something that you'd like. The game's been in progress for about a year now, so it's looking very good already. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one, and goodbye.